Oh, hey there, Guardians. It's me, Star-Lord, Legendary Outlaw. And I'm guessing because you're here, it's time for another uh, Marvel bedtime story, right? Well, let's see if I've got the book here. <sighs> Found it. So let's... Uh... You know what? This helmet, great for fighting supervillains. Terrible for reading books, so... <sighs> let's get this party started, shall we? Here we go. Attack of the Portal Crashers. So let's get this started. Boom. A tremendous noise echoed through the streets of New York City. The ground shook so hard that car alarms went off and stray cats hid under dumpsters. Spider-Man looked down, his spider sense on high alert. He immediately spotted Iron Man fighting a strange, feathery villain. It was Spider-Man's old enemy, the Vulture. Spider-Man swooped in to help. Flying through the city, Iron Man blasted the vulture with Spider-Man swinging close behind. The blast hit the villain's legs and the vulture fell down toward the ground. At the same time, Spider-Man spun a web to catch the villain. The city was safe once again. Working together, Spider-Man and Iron Man had beat the vulture in no time. Thanks, kid, Iron Man said. We make a pretty great team. You're welcome, Mr. Stark, Spider-Man said, blushing under his mask. Iron Man, billionaire Tony Stark, was a big deal. Please, Mr. Stark was my father, Iron Man joked. He put his arm around Spidey. You know, some of the greatest victories have been won by heroes working as a team, like the time Cap, Falcon, and I teamed up to fight Hydra, or when Widow and Hawkeye took down AIM. Cloak and Dagger are always helping Doctor Strange fight Dormammu. Every hero has certain strengths and weaknesses. Well, I usually work alone, Spider-Man explained. I don't think I've earned my place among the real heroes yet. There's no shame in needing a little help, Iron Man said with a smile. See you around, kid. As Iron Man rocketed away, Spider-Man began to think about how cool all the other superheroes were and how badly he wanted to prove himself. That gave him an idea. What if he threw a party for them? They deserved it. After all, they saved the world every day. That night, Spider-Man went home and took off his suit. At home, he could be just regular old Peter Parker. The more Peter thought about it, the better he liked the idea of throwing a party for the other heroes. A great party would definitely impress the Avengers, he thought. Peter immediately got to work. He wrote invitations to all the superheroes he could think of. He knew Central Park would be the perfect place to host the party. He'd bake a cake and maybe even make a piñata. It was going to be awesome. Peter's invitations made their way to every famous superhero in the world, but one invitation made its way entirely by accident through a rogue wormhole right into the hands of Thanos, the cosmic supervillain. All of Earth's mightiest heroes in one place, Thanos said, reading the invitation. This is my chance to destroy them all in one blow. That doesn't sound too good. The party started out great. Peter served delicious cupcakes and even made a Mysterio-shaped piñata. Everyone showed up and brought things for the party. Hulk had baked a green cake. Doctor Strange put on a dazzling light show. Hawkeye set up an indestructible game of whack-a-mole and laughed as a frustrated Thor whacked away at it with his hammer. Captain America and Black Widow were playing frisbee with Cap's shield and Black Panther was beating Ant-Man at the pin the staff on the Loki game. Everyone was having a great time. No guardians, I see. Lame. Suddenly, the sky turned dark and stormy. Lightning cracked against the gray clouds. We're under attack, Captain America shouted as thousands of alien cyborgs started raining down on Central Park. It's the Chitauri, Black Widow yelled. 
every hero leaped into action. The scene fell into chaos as the world's greatest heroes battled the galaxy's fiercest enemy. With a zap of her electrostatic cuffs, Black Widow took out several cyborgs, while Thor plowed through another dozen with his hammer. Iron Man and Captain America blasted Chitauri to pieces. Black Panther slashed at them with his vibranium claws. And as for Hulk, well, Hulk smashed. Spider-Man watched in awe. Every hero was needed in this fight, and that included him. He threw himself into the battle, firing webs at lightning speed. The greatest superheroes in the world, including Spider-Man, fought long and hard. Soon the tide of the battle was turning. Fallen cyborgs littered the ground. But then, with a mighty crack, the sky split open and Thanos appeared. Spider-Man's heart sank. The Chitauri were bad news, but Thanos was way worse. The world was really in trouble now. I've got him, cried Captain America. But Thanos saw Cap charging and smashed him backward. Then Black Panther leaped at Thanos, kicking powerfully, but the blow bounced right off of Thanos' chest. Doctor Strange's magic couldn't contain the massive villain, and even Hawkeye's sharpest arrow bounced harmlessly away. One by one, the heroes were defeated. Then Spider-Man remembered what Iron Man had told him. Some of the greatest victories have been won by heroes working as a team. That's what they needed. None of them could defeat Thanos alone. But if they teamed up... Everybody! Spider-Man cried. We need to work together! With Spider-Man leading the assault, the heroes all fell in. Each hero brought his or her greatest strength to the fight. We need to reverse the portal, Spider-Man realized. Come on, heroes! Let's knock this tough titan into oblivion! When the superheroes worked as one, they were an invincible army. In the fiercest battle Central Park had ever seen, Spider-Man and his heroic friends banished Thanos to a far-off dimension in the multiverse. The world was safe. Teaching me my own words of wisdom, Iron Man asked, slinging a metal-clad arm around Spider-Man's shoulders. You're a pretty smart kid. Yeah, maybe even smarter than you, Spider-Man smiled. Hey now, don't get crazy, Iron Man replied. Spider-Man had finally won his place among the greatest heroes of the age, but it wasn't on his own. Spider-Man teamed up and saved the world. Well, that was a nice story. Well, I hope you enjoyed your Marvel bedtime story. Until next time, I've got a galaxy to guard. And you've got a bed to go fill. Good night. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Helps grow the channel. Dr. Grant agrees, don't you? I can't believe you brought me to space for this. I'm paleontologist. I like it on the ground. But yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Good night.